But we got another star and we got a key. And with that key, we can now go and explore the lower levels. But we're still not finished exploring the top levels. I just felt like fighting Bowser because they were going to let me right away. I can't use that key to get up here, but we can use the key to get down below. Anyway, we unlocked this room and we still have not actually done anything here, so let's go check it out. I know that there's one more treasure. There's a treasure here that I think requires the metal cap, so that one's going to take a hot minute to get. But we can get, I think, all of the rest of them without it. Uh, this place... I remember this place for its music a lot more than anything else. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and start working my way down. A lot of this stuff down here is a lot easier to get with the metal cap, but there's a lot we can do here. I also want to unlock the cannon pretty early. So let's just start heading down here. There's the ship that we need to get into. I'm not going to worry about it just yet. But yeah, uh, if you get in the water and poke your head above water, your life will just regenerate. Uh, so as long as there is water somewhere, you can heal. You can heal as much as you need to. This is not going to be a good stage for getting uh, all the blue coins. Or all the blue coins. For getting 100 coins. But getting more coins is always just helpful. I thought the uh, bob -omb was in this little hole here, but maybe I was mistaken. I guess I was mistaken. I thought he was in here for some reason. Again, you can get another metal cap there. Well, let's just go do the thing we're actually supposed to do. I think to get this guy out, you just kind of have to hang out in front of him for a little bit. Hey, buddy. You don't want to get too close to him, otherwise he'll hit you. But I think you just have to kind of hang out in front of him for a bit. It's always been a little finicky. Get some of these coins to refill my health here. Yeah, getting this guy to actually come out has always been a little finicky. But it's usually not that terrible. Come on, buddy. You gonna come out? You gonna come say hi? Hmm. Don't actually remember exactly what to do to get him to come out. Which is a problem, because I need him to do that. Looks like there's a red coin in the uh, little clam there. I don't think you actually have to get hit by him. I think you just have to hang out near him. Clearly something I... Clearly I'm not doing something right here. I remember as a kid not having that much trouble getting him to leave. 
Clearly, as a kid, I was better at this game than I am now. <laughs> That's okay. We'll figure it out here. Or I'll go do a different mission. There are lots of missions that I can do. Hey. Come out of your cage. Yield. Come out of the thing. I don't recall if you can actually... I don't recall if getting into a later mission just causes the boat to already be up. I don't know if it necessarily does. Oh, but flying straight through the center of the thing spawns a life. So that's pretty helpful. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna go do a different mission. <laughs> Need to go figure out where the... Because I know one that I can do pretty easily is just uh, using the cannon. That means I need to figure out where the bob -omb is. It's not over here. It's not up there. Where... Is it bob -omb? It's not underwater, I know that. You would be somewhere with actual air. Is he just hanging out over here? There's his platform. Hmm. Hmm. This is giving me more trouble than I expected. <laughs> Speaking of more trouble than expected, this pole every time. Yeah, because you can also come up here. If you hit this thing, then it spawns these guys. But in order to get all the red coins, you need the ship to be up. Is the bob -omb on the ship? Oh, the eel left. Okay, maybe it just has to do with hanging out for long enough. That's entirely possible. You might just have to hang out for long enough. I don't know. Not that concerned about it. All right. So I think this just involves hitting these treasure chests in the right order. And I don't actually remember what the order is, and I'm running out of air. So that could be a problem. That's the wrong one. Air. Oh, thank you. Glad that they gave me that, because there's no other way to replenish my air in here. <laughs> air, thank you. That got really close to a game over. Thank you. Looks like the bubbles kind of run to me. Now, as soon as I hit this, I want to turn around and swim as far up this thing as I can get to save myself a little bit of headache. Yeah, there we go. Because otherwise you have to platform your way all the way up here, which is a pain. I would much prefer just backflip and hit that. <laughs> all right, cool. Honestly, that's probably the hardest star to get in this entire level, so <laughs> we're done with it. That helps. And we get a life. Sweet. Can the eel come out to play? Oh, I gotta do the eel again. All right, well now the ship is up on the surface so we can actually get all the red coins. I still need to trigger the cannon. Oh, no, there's the bob -omb. Okay, so he just wasn't up in the previous stage. Ugh, getting on this 
pillar is always such a pain. Honestly, it's... Really? I don't actually know what's happening there. Well, this is interesting. <laughs> that was worth some collision physics. All right, let's uh, let's just do that. Talk to you. Get the cannon. There we go. All right, so now that the cannon is prepared, uh, we really only need it for one star here, which is a little bit tricky to get sometimes, but not terrible. So what we want to do is shoot to that pillar right here. Yeah, that'll do. There we go. Then we just want to get up pretty far. Make sure we're all set here. There we go. And get that star. Easy peasy. All right, let's keep going. You only need 70 stars to beat the game. Oh, yeah, uh, that was number five. All right, let's go back to Eel. Uh, you only need 70 stars to actually beat the game. And there's 120 stars in total. If you're just trying to beat the game, it's actually very quick. Uh, if you know what you're doing, it only takes like five hours to get 70 stars. Now, if you're trying to get everything, then it ends up taking quite a bit longer. But if you're just trying to get all the stars, or just trying to beat the game, it's actually a very short game, really. Assuming you actually know what you're doing. Because <laughs> there, there's a number of stars that are pretty easy to get. Yeah, if you have the... Uh, there was a shell in that clam over there which I believe you can only do stuff with if you have uh, the, if you are Metal Mario. So you have to get the Metal Cap in order to use that. Took some damage there, but it doesn't really matter. I think there's coins up above me and just circling one of these. Yeah, there's some coins right over here. I'm not really concerned about doing these in order. Uh, I think the eel was really the only thing you have to do. I think that first eel was pretty much the only thing you have to do in order. Everything else can just be kind of done however you wish. Um, I think there might be one... Yeah, there's one star here that actually requires the metal cap. Everything else can really just be done whenever. I guess I'm getting the red coin star <laughs> this time around. I'm also going to try for the uh, 100 coin star here. This is actually the easiest way I've found to get on this platform, and it's a glitch. That sounds like Mario 64, yeah. Alright. Let's just do that. Flip on over. There's more coins over here. There's also more red coins over here. So we'll just stop sidling up and flip instead. This really just makes it easier to get across. I don't think these platforms are even necessary. It just makes things easier. Yeah, you can totally long jump that. So we'll just collect these coins. Almost fall off the edge, that's fine. I think the coin, yeah, it actually spawns inside that cave, I think, is where the red coins will, okay, fine. I guess we're diving. That's not what I had intended to do, but I guess that's what we're doing. There's the eel, so you gotta get him to come out again, and you need the uh, metal, cap in order to get through the uh, little vortex there. 
So I'm not going to worry about either of those at the moment. Also not really going to worry about that life. It's one of the ones that runs away from you, which is always just kind of irritating. I think this will just let me sink down. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now it's actually stayed spawned a lot longer than expected. I thought it would disappear by now. Maybe I will be able to get it. Unexpected. But okay, I'll take it. Let's trigger all of these things first. Okay. Don't know how I didn't get hit there. I guess this isn't where the red coin spawns in. There's also a, another puzzle right there for a star, but I won't worry about that at the moment. All right, let's kill these Goombas. Just get a little bit more money. Then I can get a bunch of money from the blue coins. Every blue coin is worth 25. Or, if worth 25, I wish. Uh, every blue coin is worth five. So I think I can get like 30 coins here. Yep, 30. So I only need two more, which I will get as soon as I get any red coin. So let's go do that. Okay, we're back up here. So we'll just use these platforms as intended this time. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. There we go. Wait for this to come back down. And I did the same exact thing. Press the buttons in slightly, just slightly mistimed my button press there and ended up ground pounding instead of long jumping. Okay, try this again. I remember even as a kid, that was something I always had trouble with because I would try and do it really quickly to start the long jump as quickly as possible. And sometimes it would just ground pound instead. There we go. Yeah, you really don't have to be... You really don't have to be quite as quick about it as I kept trying to be. And there's the star. Alright. There's also only two more red coins. Just have to not get hit by that box, otherwise you get hurt. There we go. Yep, so we'll save. Got that star. All right, I think we can go back into the ship if we go through there, but there's no reason to ever do that. Like, I don't think there's even coins in there. All right, come on, let me in. I'm too close to it. There we go. We'll get you. And we'll get you. Oh, it spawns right there. Huh, okay. I thought I, re I, thought I remembered it spawning somewhere else, but that'll work. 